Welcome back. Today we have a very special episode for you. We're going to get to meet the team behind Sportsman. We'll be talking about the driving factors and the thought process behind the brand. So stick around as we go Behind the Glass. We kind of started our company uh, with a 23 center console in 2012 when we introduced that model. Companies that we competed with still had, you know, dated older tooling and designs. And we came out with what we felt was a fresh, you know, more current, modern looking design. And then we've just can continue to build upon that as we go. Now our latest design language, we've done a lot, of, a lot of things just to improve upon that. Integrated detubing for our consoles, integrated windshields on all of our boats. Uh, Aquarium live wells, you know, the list goes on and on. I've been in this industry for 37, 38 years, and I, you know, I don't think there's ever been a time when the buyer's expectations were higher than they are now, which we thrive upon that. We think it makes us better. Uh, customers want quality, you know, best in class. They want all those things, and we strive extremely hard to provide that for the customer. The vision for Building the team here at Sportsman, it goes back to the vision for the company is world class. You know, that that's, again, I don't want to be cliche and the little catch for the phrase world class, but you know, you got to surround yourself with good people. The quality of your boats is only as good as the quality of the people you have. So people are everything in our business. That is the most important aspect we have. The team mentality, the culture, you know, the continuous improvement, we're all driving to one goal, and that's to build the best quality boat we can. I'd want to know whatever boat I was buying, whether it be a sportsman, one of ours or not, that who is the team behind it? Who are the folks behind that product? And you know, what's their track record? And are they going to take care of me? You know, when I have a problem, if I have a problem, and uh, that's you know, really, I think I really pride myself on our team and how we're able to do that through our, of course, through supporting our dealers. Is that we've got a, a world-class customer service team. And uh, you know, these boats are built by human beings. They're not machine made like the automotive industry and some other industries. We don't stamp them out with a press. We make them every day. You know, it's lots of labor involved, lots of love involved, but a lot of labor in these boats. And uh, you know, you have, you have things from time to time. And, and what we, we're very proud about is, you know, if we have an issue, we take care of it. And uh, we take care of our customers and, and uh, stand behind our product. From an early start, Sportsman always had a driven vision. Well, obviously for our customers, we want to start out with a dealer network that is a world-class dealer network. Not only world-class in terms of you know sales and, and creating the, the brand expansion that we look for, but also providing the total experience uh, from before and after the sale. So we only choose dealers that are going to commit to us what we want for our customers, which is a total ownership experience throughout the life of the ownership for our customers. In today's market, buyer trust is something that is very important for the success of the relationship between our brand and ultimately our customers. And this is something that we strive to earn every single day. When a customer sees the transparency that we offer through our website, through our pricing, through our dealer network, it just instills trust in them that they want to spend their hard-earned dollars with us because they know they're getting a product that, that's going to last, that's going to you know, have quality, but also they're doing business with with somebody that's gonna stand there for them when they have an issue down the road. You know, it starts from the first time they visit our website to the first time they visit the dealer. They're building that trust the entire way. And so I just think it helps give them the confidence and the trust they need to, to spend their hard earned dollars.
As a customer, we felt like it was very important for our customers to be able to get to price uh, very quickly, very easily, uh, without a lot of gimmicks. So we started internet pricing several years ago to provide that overall transparency. Uh, our brand is positioned to be an incredible value proposition. In other words, for what you're gonna get from Sportsman, from what we install in the boat standard, to our dealer network, to the customer, what you're gonna get is an incredible value for dollar for dollar. This year we celebrate our 10th year and our organization has evolved just as much as our product. The evolution of the company has been fun to watch, but specifically two to three years ago was when we really throttled down on bringing our, you know, upping our game from an engineering standpoint, uh, specifically product development. First and foremost, I definitely think we are an engineered based company. That's one of the true enjoyments I have of, of working for a company like this. We're constantly trying to innovate. It's what drives the design and us be able to come to market quicker, uh, usually than most, and more products quicker as well. And it goes back to the, the innovation we talked about earlier. Without it being an engineering-based company, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have the focus that our ownership and management allow us to do to get to that, to get to the market quicker, to make it to fruition and, and make it happen. So process improvement for sports and boats is, you know, it's a continuous thing, you know, on a daily, daily activity, daily meetings, you know, how do we do it better? You know, find the root cause of each problem, come up with a solution, and then acting upon that. So every issue out in the, whether it's out on the floor or in the design process, we're always trying to troubleshoot and find how do we make it better and bring a solution to the table. So as new products come out, customers give us feedback on what they want to see in the boat, and we as a group decide, yes, that should be in the boat. It's designed in, so it should appease the masses, and it's a turnkey ready boat, and everything fits. When we asked what the key to success was over the last 10 years, the answer was consistent across the group. It's the team. You know, it really is. It's the people. And, uh, you know, when, when I was in this business for a lot of years, I got out of it for a little while. That's the thing I missed the most was, was the people. Uh, first and foremost, our team here, our employees. I just love working with these people. We had just a great group of professionals. And, uh, and also the dealers and the customers. You know, I enjoy interacting with our dealers and our, and our customers that buy our boats. So that's probably number one. Second to that would be just the uh, product development side of the business. You know, I, I, I love that. I love working with our engineering team and uh, trying to bring a little value to that proposition on, on product development. And uh, so I spent a lot of my time there. And um, so yeah, that's probably the couple of things that, that I enjoy the most. As we come to a close on this season, we want to thank everyone involved in making this series possible and to you for your support, comments, and feedback. From Somerville, South Carolina, my name is Victor and thank you for watching.